This ability is we concluded at the Marion Jones Sporting Complex in Belize City with the Special Olympics Belize National Games. The event supports a week-long awareness campaign on persons living with disabilities and their inclusiveness in all sectors of society. The official ceremonies today began with the final leg of the Flame of Hope Torch Run, an initiative of the law enforcement agencies, but spearheaded by the police department. Today we are having our 14 national games for children with intellectual disability, also with children without um, disability. Um, today they will be engaged in football, marching and track and field. And a part of the games we are also having our performance station for the first time. Performance station is an event for them to um, increase their performance and also to, to increase their, to develop their fitness level. Over 300 athletes and 130 volunteers from all six districts are participating in the various disciplines including javelin, softball throw, shot put and standing jump. Orange Walk fielded the most 68 athletes. For the Belmopan team, they have had limited time to prepare, but group leader Camille Salazar says that they are hopeful that they'll medal. Our preparations have, have been throughout the year. We have been on and now practicing the different kind of sports. Uh, today we hope to go, go home back with something positive. Uh, preparation could, be, could have been a bit more than what we have now. Um, hopefully we, we are, we'll be more prepared next year. How many um, athletes are on your team? We brought 23 total, 23 athletes and 10 volunteers. Females and, uh, Females and boys, yeah, all up to age 25, 26 years old. And that preparation can go a long way. The top athletes from the national games are more than likely to represent Belize at the World Games to be held in Abu Dhabi come 2019. So today we will select the, the, the athletes that will be going for that game. We, we in Abu Dhabi will be participating in football and also track and field. So we will take uh, male football and female track and field. Dwayne Moody for News 5.